Hello everyone and welcome back to the final episode of our Orion series. And we've started the ritual of rebirth for the Oak of Ages and the beastmen are crawling out of the woodworks, literally. And I have no idea how long this episode is gonna be. It could be 30 minutes, it could be 2 hours. You know better than me since you can actually see how long the video is. But we're gonna end this episode with the quest battle. And we got some, uh, some beastmen to kill here and they got a pretty scary army. Luckily. We have a lot of shooting, so this should be alright. So luckily, their big dumb monsters are also big dumb targets. So we should be able to take them down pretty easily with our range stuff, but... Those are some scary monsters. And they got bullgores. Like, no, wait. Bull... What are they called? Yeah, bullgores. And they have 200 weapon strength. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hurt. So, I guess we're just... Uh, Let's just set up over here. This is gonna be fine and damn, we do not have a lot of front line. But this, this should be alright. At the very least, we have some very sturdy treatment to put up front and some big treatment. And I know they're called tree kin, but they're tree guys, tree men to me. <laughs> so, let's line you up, line you up and uh, I guess we'll spread this out a little bit more actually. Well, I guess once we start this battle, because we gotta cover this a little bit better, I think. But we'll do it like that. We'll uh, put these guys over there. They can sit and shoot right away. Do they both have... Yeah, they both have arrows of Kernus. So we can shoot them out right away. That's gonna be excellent. You got dwellers, so you're gonna sit there and do that. And I'm guessing this gap is for their archers, so let's hide some stuff. And uh, let's see if we can kite some stuff. That should be alright. You can start shooting that guy. And at the very least, that is gonna be a very painful... Actually, not that painful. I thought that was gonna be more pain... God damn it, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a good hit, though. And can we just kill him here? Oh, so close, though. Oh, shit. Everything is coming after you. Well, okay. That is fine. Let's go and hit those guys in the rear while we just kite these guys away. <laughs> that is perfect, because we can just kill these things with dwellers from below. Um, these guys are just gonna murder their lord. There we go. That's very good. And we're just gonna pile into the rear of these Angor Raiders. And their leadership was not very good. <laughs> they just started sorry, crumbling right away. Perfect. So that was half of their army at the very least. Still don't know how to do this because... Uh, it says uh, they need hit points 50% or less, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, run away. We got Bulgors coming on in. And they're trying to surround us. So I don't know what their plan is there because they're never gonna catch. They're never gonna catch Glade Riders. They got 110 speed. There is no way they're gonna catch them. So we're just gonna run circles around them. Yeah, all right. And I guess we should run them back over there, just so we can get this fight going, basically. Oh, hello. You went to attack. Excellent. Go and murder those guys. <laughs> Gonna die to the archers very quick though. So that's good. Uh, let's just... You can be sacrificial. Go and sit over there. Go and sit over there. No, keep going. Murder that guy, please. Sisters of Thorn. You can just go in over there. And you can go and hang out over there. So, make sure they die. And here comes the rest of the army. Gotta question their decision making here, because that was not very clever. So let's just kite them on in here. And now we're just gonna shoot these guys to death. Because this Goron is... <laughs> he's walking... Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it's like walking when you got a snowstorm in your face or something, but... Slightly worse. And I think we might just... 
just kill everything with shooting here. Okay, they're going after the garrison stuff. That's fine. They just hit a wall there. That's fine. Uh, let's just send you in there and fight. Send you in there and fight. Oh, shit. Um, well, first of all, let's uh, buff you guys up a little bit. And I didn't expect you to just uh, get on in there. Let's get some... Uh, Arrows of Kernus there. And also, Torment the Sword and run back a little bit, please. Run back a little bit. Although, he's, yeah. Got locked down and Torment the Sword. Or, I guess, locked down and shot to death. Torment the Sword was what locked him down. But, kill those Chaos Spawn. Charge into these raiders. Sneaky raiders keeps popping on up. Ah, uh, there we go. And that seems to be it. Now we just need to kill these Chaos Spawn, but that's gonna be pretty quick, I think. So fighting that in basically two batches made that a lot easier. So yeah, let's just take some money and... Oh, damn, we are. <laughs> we are deep in the red. That's alright, we got a nice bank and we're making good money from just murdering stuff. So that's fine. And they shouldn't be able to do anything here. This is gonna pop in two turns. Other than that, I think we've popped most things. This we still don't seem to be able to interact with. And I don't remember if there's gonna be any more invasions. I kind of hope there will, because otherwise that's kind of a letdown. Oh, and we finished some tech. So we're gonna have a lot more ammo. That's gonna be very useful. So let's just keep going towards the elf inf infantry. And diplomatic relations is also gonna be kind of helpful. So, oh, I guess you can actually not intercept that. All right. Anything. Let's try again to see if the... Oh, it worked. <laughs> it worked this time. So, Bretonian's force, uh, Bretonian forces has been spotted venturing into the edges of the forest. They are pilgrims seeking to present an ancient relic at a chapel lost within the woods. The relic does indeed have power and could aid the healing of the world roots. You could let them leave their offerings and claim them for yourself as soon as they have left. But the forest spirits are enraged that this incur- They're so damn pissy. <laughs> Just let them leave their damn things. I don't like uh, losing some leadership on Dryad Shrieking and Grove Guardians and Tree Men and stuff. But I guess we don't have that many of them. At least our strongest armies don't rely that much on the Dryads. The Tree Kin is a little bit annoying, but they're a brick wall anyway. So I guess the little leadership doesn't matter that much. I think we're just gonna be friendly with the Bretonians. It's fine. They're just leaving a little offering. Leave them be. Don't be. Don't be an asshole. And just pass the turn. Alright. Can we... Yeah, we can reach that easily. Oh, don't cross the... Don't... Okay, we can reach. It's good. auto resolve them. Just let the dragon eat them. That's gonna be fine. And start... Oh! Really? You can't cross this little river here? Huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll just... Underway next turn. And there doesn't seem to be any new invasions. It's gonna be that one then. We got you though. We should deal with you. They must fall. Oh, don't be an asshole. Just, just stop. Forest God damn it. Vengeance. All right. So, we could go and just meet this head on. And I guess marching is gonna be the faster way to do that. So, send you on up north and we'll deal with this. They should pop next turn, but that's fine. We can fight them in the field, I don't mind. And we shouldn't spend too much money though, because uh, we kind of need that bank. And Thorgrim, he just wanted his place back. You know what? Sure. You can have peace. I just wanted to burn your city. No hard feelings. Oh, sure. That makes it easier. 
Now we don't have to chase them. The Dreaming Wood. A young Glade Lord, full of hope and naivete, wishes to journey into the Dreaming Woods to recover a lost artifact. Headstrong and confident, perhaps to the point of arrogance, the Dreaming Wood is a twisted domain ruled by the Prince of Pleasure, Slanesh. To enter is to dance with the Chaos God of Madness and Desire. Most who enter never return, claimed body and soul by the forces of ruin. Yet this Glade Lord seems self-assured. Do you allow them to recover this item or forbid the journey? So we can get a war banner if we wanted to. And oh, that is a lot of corruption though. Nah. Let's let's not. So Um I guess we just underway because yeah, we cannot get far through there, so underway over to Dursu. And speaking of Dursu. We can't confederate him, I just I just had to check. Hell yeah! Give me Durthu! Alright! What do you got? Um, mostly just a bunch of trees, but you can upgrade stuff. You're very, very hurt though. Uh, let's, uh... Let's slow you down and make you tanky. Probably same with you. Slow you down, make you tanky. And uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll send you back here to recover. Oh, actually, Make haste. let's trade over some guys here. Oh no, wait. Um, merge them. Merge them. Merge them. There we go. That's better. Now you can trade. And just uh, send over a couple of them. Perfect. You, we can get rid of. If we get anyone else, um, so we got Dursu, we got you. Ah, uh, we don't need you. Because you are very expensive to just keep around. And we got you. We do not need to keep around. So, back to negative 5,000. Much more reasonable. Wait, why... Why can I upgrade these but not these? Is it because these are... No? I don't know. Well, let's... Uh, let's do these while we can, I guess. Let's buff you with middle defense. Get some armor. Let's get some armor. Just make them a little bit tankier. Range doesn't matter. Speed doesn't really matter. The armor piercing is kind of okay, but not that necessary against beastmen if that's who we're gonna fight. So, bonus versus infantry and defense is also kind of nice. So let's just do a little bit of half and half. I think that's gonna be alright. And you want an alliance? You want military access? That's good. It shall be done. Is there any other that we don't have? You, we don't have anything with you. All right, let's at least do a non-aggression pact. Don't have an alliance or anything with you, but that's fine. All right, there we go. Much better. Five more turns. Let's chill you in there. And uh, oh, we should see what they've done with Dursu. It's only level fourteen. It's got flock of doom. Well, that's not very helpful for you. You have none of those, and very few of those. Alright. Yeah, you just... I mean, that's pretty good, but... That's, like, the one point. Well, except Flocking, Flock of Doom. Flock of Doom is the best spell, so... <laughs> and do you have Sword of Days? Yeah, you do. That's good, at least. So, yeah, you don't seem to have been doing a lot, but... We got Durthu. That's all I ask. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, Luen wants military access. Yeah, sh Oh, yeah, defensive alliance. Because, uh, He's got most of that tree, so if we... If we ally, we should just start generating health on that tree. So, first of all, I forgot to... 
send you over. We'll send you over there. Uh, it's gonna be fine. You need to come on back. Send you on over there. You can hang out there. That's fine. You can hang out there. You're not moving. It freaks me out. But, Durthu. can probably just send you to your waterfall palace. That's gonna be fine. And we can... We can get you your hawk riders, which you've been leveling for. <laughs> Weirdo. So, let's go and fight these beastmen. Are you serious? You gotta be like this. You're invading my forest and then you just flee when I come to fight you. So, yeah, let's let's just fight this because I think this is gonna be the last beastman thing before the end quest, maybe. Unless more pop up. But I wanna fight it. So, I think we can skirmish them pretty safely here because, uh, I mean, their infantry is really fast, but we're also kind of fast. So we should be able to keep distance of them and just get behind our wall. And we got... We got a really good cab to just screen that. Because their cab isn't that bad. Well, like for us. It's, they're not that great. Because we can just kill them with our cab. So as, we, as long as we keep our cab pretty close by, I think we're pretty safe to skirmish. Although they do have some Cygors, but I'm sure we'll be alright. So we'll put these guys behind here. That's uh, gonna be fine. Um, you guys can just sit here and start shooting at the Cygors, I guess, to turn them off a little bit. Uh, you can hang out. We'll be back here with the front line. And you'll be group 5. I think that's fine. Oh, and they, <laughs> they also have archers, but I don't think they're gonna do that well. Ow! Ow! Oh, it's throwing stones at Ariel? Rude! Oh, you you need to stop there. Uh, but let's just uh, shoot that out. We got a big spear to throw at you. Eh, pretty good damage. <laughs> and their, their archers didn't last that, that long. Stop throwing rocks at Ariel. I mean, it is probably best for us if that's who you're shooting, but it's just kind of rude. And do we have anything... Good. Uh, I mean, we have dwellers from below, but that's more AOE stuff. Ow. Let's uh, heal those deep wood scouts up. But we're doing some good damage to these guys. That's uh, nice. And I guess if they, if they want, they can sit and shoot at Ariel. We're getting a lot of shooting done at them anyway, so... You're broken. Oh, and there's go time, I think. So, run back behind the wall here. It's gonna be fine. Uh, we'll grab two of these, send you out on the flank. We'll send... Actually, let's send you out there too. Fight those guys. And kill those guys. We should absolutely outspeed them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I accidented with my guy. <laughs> Pop that and go and fight. Oh shit, ow, that hurts. Grab the berry vine on, wine on yourself. And let's dwell it from below that. That should be alright. So, get behind the spears. You'll be fine. Let's, uh... A soul stealer that. And just stay on top of that. It's gonna be fine. We've broken that pretty thoroughly. We can send you back there. And you can go and just hammer and anvil this shit. So let's just dwell it from below over there. Uh, let's pop that. We can just absolutely murder those. You're doing fine. Let's hit those guys in the rear. Uh, we can hit you over there. There we go. Very nice. You guys are trying your damnedest. And, oh, damn, they, <laughs> and they just deleted the, those guys. Excellent. You're doing great. Let's go and... Actually, you're going to get shot. Let's go and fight that Jabber Slide instead. 
Those guys are dead. Uh, you can go and uh, help out with that, I suppose. But yeah, that seems to be pretty much game. And they did run from us, so they're just dead. And there we go. He took a little bit of damage because I forgot to move him, but that's all right. He, he's all right. We're just going to take the money here, stay afloat. And just get back into friendly territory. And we'll heal, up, heal that up in no time. So that's the last of the invasions, I think. So I guess we're just uh, passing the turn. Oh, did you... Did you kill the dwarves or something? No. Because I saw... I think maybe Thorak? And I thought it was going to settle this, but he didn't. Oh well, I guess we'll just... Uh, sit around and see if something happens. And uh, I have kind of forgotten about the rights. Because it is winter, so we should fix that. Oh, and the hunt is on! And the hunt is going to be on until this finishes, so let's start by grabbing some of that. Hmm, damage from forest dragons. Neat. And fire resistance for all elf units, if that's something we need. I guess just getting a little bit of leadership for everyone is kind of alright. We'll grab that. And... Uh, does any of these matter? I was going to go with this, but it's foreign territory. That doesn't matter. We're, we're gonna be... Well, na no. I was gonna say, like, maybe it's when the when we do the Oak of Ages, but that quest should be by the Oak of Ages, so that shouldn't happen. So I guess we're just gonna go with income from buildings, maybe? Or I guess research, just to get some leadership faster. Ooh, cooldown from spells. Oh, that is... That is actually quite useful. And the miscast space chance. Yeah, let's go with this one. That is going to be super useful in a battle. So let's go with that. And you can start going back. And I wish there were more, more invasions, actually. So far, we just got a couple and we dealt with them in like two turns. And then there's nothing. Like... Do it like you mean it. Throw in two every turn. <laughs> or at least one every turn. Make it eight in total. Plus like three or four that we start with. It's the Oak of Ages one. Make it hard. If I had my way, the and... Uh, nah, I still don't want to piece you out. Because i rather just... Uh, I'd rather just get the upkeep reduction that you give me. Because you don't seem to be a threat. It didn't even attack my forest. Oh, hello. Speaking of attacking my forest and not doing it properly. <laughs> Idiot. If you gotta do it, do it like you mean it. Uh, oh, right. I was gonna see this tree that is... Where is this tree? It is right there. You're not gonna start growing until we... Do we have to take it? Because you don't have to... Oh, yeah, wait, you do need to own it to do it. So that's kind of annoying. We would have to take this from them. Or I guess, can we buy it from you? No. That's a little bit dumb. So we would have to fight you for it, and then we can't be allied. Boo. Oh, well, it's fine. We don't need that tree. I thought it was going to start growing because we're allies. You get growth from allies, but... Oh, well. So let's... Actually, you get really far with that Mars stance. Yeah, we're almost by the Oak of Ages. Perfect. But we're gonna have... So we're gonna have... A... Rebellion somewhere. So right there. You'll be fine, but we might want to stop taxing that anyway. Where is this? Oh, it's Turin. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, who cares? The mighty deep wood welcomes you beneath. And Gelt wants a military alliance. You know what? Why not? Give me the money, though. So, one more turn. We 
are pretty much in position. Question is, do you want to take some stuff? I mean, I figure we'll switch these for like Orion's special spare guys. That just seems right. And I kind of want to kind of want to take some wave watchers too because they're just really good. And just poison on top of that and the armor piercing. Mm, so good. Such a good unit. So let's uh, okay. Let's get rid of all of these. Wait, did you? Yeah, they grew a little bit this turn. <laughs> Confederated Norland, good for them. But let's uh, let's trade a little bit here. Uh, we'll grab uh, like two of those. Grab the normal one and one of those, and I think we'll just grab all of those. I think that's reasonable. I do kind of want the Wild Rider too. Because the Wild Riders are so good. But maybe five is enough. Yeah, let's let's go like that. I think that's good. I like that army. That's gonna be sweet. Oh, and Ariel leveled. So, let's do Isha's Blessing. And there they go. Now they're taking it like they mean it. So, go ahead. It's alright. I was just going down there for fun anyway, so you can have it. And you're trying again and failing. I mean, how how embarrassing is this for you? Like, <laughs> it's gotta be a little bit embarrassing, right? You can't even, you can't even take my settlement that I'm not even, like, garrisoning. What are you doing? <laughs> Idiot. Alright. The Oak of Ages it Oh, and it starts at the same time as an endgame scenario. We got orcs. We got the biggest wah. Now, where are they? There they are. <laughs> you done fucked up, Lewin. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Probably gonna ignore most of that though, cuz... Um, well, it came at a time where we're just about to just finish this campaign. And there we go. S Ritual of Rebirth succeeded. Got a little bit of goodies. We got an Amber. And we got a, a bunch of these boys. Rising on up. So, let's have a look at you guys. It's not that much. I did turn it up to like 150% and put it to somewhere between 70 and 90 because I didn't know how long this campaign was going to be. But I thought it was going to go to like 80, so maybe we'll do a little bit in the eight or the end of it. And I did kind of get there, but I didn't want it to start too early. But it's fine. I didn't really plan to interact with it too much. I just wanted it to trigger sometime in the campaign, just because. So, I think we're gonna ignore that, and we are gonna go and defend the oak. And damn, this is a uh, laggy last, <laughs> last turn. So, we got Malagor, we got Kazrak, we got Morgur. And damn, that is a lot of Chaos Bon, which makes sense. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of Beastmen to fight. But we are ready for him. We got extra ammo. Damn, we got 47 ammo. We gotta do some kills with that. We got some good front line. We got Ariel and Orion. Both absolute beasts and overpowered Cav. So it's gonna be great. The Oak of Ages stands strong in the face of adversity. Wait. Oh. I thought it was done. <laughs> You like those pulses in between your sentences, huh? Let the horn of Kronos blast one last time in triumph and rid the world of these foul creatures forever. Sure, I'll do my best. But it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we should probably find a good choke among these cliffs. And maybe we'll try to fight them over here. I don't know where they're gonna come from. Or we could just set up over here because I, I think. Uh, I mean, we could just cheese this and set up everything here and just dwell it from below, but that seems... 
That seems really boring. Um, I think we're just gonna set these guys up here instead. We'll run up this thing. And uh, we'll uh, make a little bit of a box here-ish. And just uh, try to cover this. Hold here. Hold here a little bit. And just sweep with the cap. So, you'll be group 3. You'll be group 2. You'll be group 1. And uh, set you up over here as group 4 with you. You're all gonna be fine. And you'll be back here in group 5. 6. Sure, why not? Why not 6? <laughs> and you set up real far back, but that's alright. We can start sending you back here. And just shoot while you do. Grab two of these. Run up on the flank. And honestly, this is gonna be... This is gonna be no problem here. Because these are Ungors and... Warhounds. So he'll just pound through that. There you go. Perfect. And we're catching up to that. Uh, let's just hit those in the rear. Caught these guys. And we're getting into... Into position. So let's murder those guys. And yeah, they're already broken. <laughs> oh, the Wild Riders are so good. Oh, I've had so much fun with them with them in this campaign. It's... Ah, oh, it's so fun. I love overpowered cab. Although, I don't know if it's necessarily overpowered, but... By God, it's been... It's been powerful. Oh, shit. Here comes... Uh, here comes Malagor. Let's pull back with our great steeds in that case. We can... Uh, Actually, let's bring him up there. Uh, you should probably fall back a little bit. I don't think these are gonna come back, so... Send these guys up. And you need, a, you need to heal up. Took a lot of damage there. So, oh, pull back. Oh, you got... You got a stag stuck in there. Okay, stop. You got really good mass. Just push on through, you dumb idiot. So, let's uh, send you over there, send you over there. You'll be fine. You'll plug that just in case. And we'll start hitting these guys. Oh, and you can... Oh, wait. You can hit that. Uh, do pop that, though, to lower the melee defense. We'll pop that a little bit. It's gonna be fine. Oh, hello. Well, good thing I put some stuff up there. And we got plenty... Oh, we don't need it. Never mind, we do not need it. Because we are just plowing through this. Oh, and you guys. <laughs> you can start shooting down this little bird that's hanging out. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, but it's just kind of annoying. There we go. <laughs> Idiot. But these are all breaking real fast. You're coming back and we got Kalsrak coming on up. Can't say I'm too threatened by Kalsrak. I'm one eye. But all of these seems to be mostly shattered. So let's go and hit over there. And yeah, just... Actually, he's just gonna die. Send you on up there. Um, oh, shit, he, yeah, he just died. Perfect, so we got plenty of time before these guys show on up. So, send you up there, send you up there. It's gonna be fine, these are all shattered, except for you, but you do not seem to be coming back. Luckily, you're very fast, so <laughs> you're getting off the map very quickly. I like that. I like that in an enemy. They're good at fleeing, so we don't have to wait for them to get off the map. So, let's just go and hit those. And line up like that, line up like that. It's gonna be fine. Uh, you can come on and uh, just set up in the rear. It's gonna be fine. Mostly posturing. Might want to set you over there though. Together with you. And I don't think we necessarily need... Well, you could actually use... 
a nice heal here. We got plenty of mana, so heal up those guys. And let's just get a nice heal there. Make sure everyone is just real healthy. And now we just wait for him. Although you already start shooting, so you can you can start shooting at uh, Kalsrak actually. Oh, that's a good, that's a good hit. Very nice. So let's take those Sandigors. We'll spread you out on the flank. All right, all right, all right. Being tricky. Send you on in there. Got plenty of shooting though, so shouldn't be a problem. We can meet those harpies with the caster. And yeah, I think think you're going down. You're fine. No, come on. Okay, I didn't mean for you to not do anything though. All right, pull you back. You're breaking. Uh, these guys are breaking. That's good. So let's uh, dwellers right there. I uh, just pile on in with all of that. So this should go down pretty quick. That's good. And Kasrak is in the lines, but it seems to be not getting shot enough. Everyone, shoot Kasrak! <laughs> Can you lock him down, please? Just pull him back a little bit. Okay. Let's pull you on over there. Um, let's send you around into those bestigors. The rest, uh, yeah. Let's uh, send you into this beastman giant. And I think we're good there. Anyway, there's the last reinforcements, and that is Morgur. Probably the one I'm most worried about, because uh, Chaos Spawn are kind of nasty. And uh, I don't like his uh, little muta mutant thing that he does. So let's heal these guys up. There you go. And let's line up like so. Uh, no, like so and so. We'll grab most of these and line up over there. We don't have to chase those anymore. Oh shit, you you went way too far away. All right. Well, murder squad, send you up over there. Let's get a dwellers right there. Slow them down and uh, just force them through that because you also have magics. Oh, pull back a little bit. Let's force them through some stuff. Should heal you up. Try to make you nice and healthy. Oh shit. Stop the race gores. Let's send you in there. Okay. Pull you back. It'll be fine. Put some hounds on that. And counter charge, please. There we go. Oh, we got we got Bestigors coming up behind. Come on, break. Please. Okay, no one No one's getting low on health. But we can pull you guys back a little bit. Just kite them back a little bit. It's gonna be alright. Send you in, keep you fighting over there. Let's pull you back. Get a heal. Get a soul stealer. That ought to be fine. Oh shit. Um. Oh no. Um. Regrowth. What is happening with you? Why can't I regrowth you? It's just routing. Okay, I can't click down there, but I can. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, everyone. Go kill Morgur. So, get some buffs. Get some buffs. Get some buffs. And get on top of Morgur. Don't know why I can't overcast that, but sure. 
And I still can't use Call of the Wild. I don't know why. Oh, we have Chaos Bomb back here. Uh, let's grab you and hit you in the rear. And uh, still, kill Morgan. He's gonna drain us all to death, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, there's some good damage, though. Get that sandwich! Send you to help. So we're taking a little bit of damage, but Morgan is dead, and that should be the last of it. We just need to kill these Chaos Spawn, and there's only one left, so... There we go. That should be it. Nice. So, oh, that was pretty good. Took a little bit of damage. This guy got murdered. I think it might have been his mutate thing that just spawns a Chaos Spawn and it's nasty. But... Was I supposed to have reinforcements? Because I didn't see these guys. Did you skimp on my reinforcements game? <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was supposed to have reinforcements, you asshole. Alright, well, that's fine. We... Uh, we did pretty good. I think we used all of our ammo, which is very nice. Just the wave, or the... The setup of this, the, with them coming just wave after wave, make it a lot more easy. If everyone would have come at the same time, that would have been really hard, but... That was pretty good. I like it. I haven't fought that battle in probably three or four years, maybe more. So, yeah. I didn't remember it, but it was fun. And, yeah, you disappear. Good. So, we should we get a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of... Um, traits, too. So that's neat. But, that is... That is that, I think. I don't... Th Complete the Ritual of Rebirth for Athaloran. We've done that. Yeah, we've... Yeah, we've done that. Why don't I have short victory? Do I have to pass the turn? Okay, let's pass the turn and see if it gives me the short victory. And do we get it? You have obtained some amber. Yeah, sure, I know about amber. I don't give a shit about amber right now. The game is holding back on me. <laughs> I definitely finished this. Ah, piece of shit game. But we are... Oh, so close to... Uh, to a uh, long campaign victory even. Oh, actually, well, besides that. But, yeah, we're real close to that. Neat. So, I'd say we finished the long <laughs> campaign victory. That's fine. Oh, and I want to see... Okay, so Grimgore does have a lot of stuff, but... Krokgar finally started doing stuff, at the very least. Still have a little bit of things here, but... Wonder if you've lost a bunch of stuff or if there's some armies down here as well. But Krokkar, he's come back. Good for him. But yeah, we're gonna end this series here. Always super fun playing uh, the Wood Elves. I don't play them very often because uh, I feel like they're most of the time becomes kind of samey since... Uh, you can teleport all over the map, so you kind of just go to the same ones, kind of because of the the effects they give, or at the very least, you just pop around and do your thing, and uh, it kind of becomes the same thing. If you even if you switch faction, especially if you switch Orion or or Durthu, although they probably have the most different uh, army composition since you mostly have trees with Durthu and you focus elves and cav with um, Orion so they've become different with that but yeah the the gameplay of it becomes kind of the same so I don't play it very often but it's so fun every time I do especially er, at least since the rework because oh the horrible times before the, the wood elf rework oh probably the worst worst faction in the game but they're super fun now always enjoy them Although, I don't play them very often. And, uh, they're still super fun, even in the old... Well, even. Also, in the old world. Which, I did expect. Because, uh, the old world is cool. And you just do the same thing. You pop around and kill all kinds of things all over the map. So, yeah, super fun. And we did get to play around with Orion's special things a little bit. Not a lot, but 
I mean, it doesn't have anything super flashy. It's some infantry units. You wouldn't even notice if it was them or Eternal Guards. Who cares? They're just kind of generic close combat guys. Even if they're, they're very good. So yeah, mostly I just had fun with Cav instead. But um, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Seems like, uh, like most people seem to have enjoyed it. So that's good. Always happy to see people le leaving nice comments and likes and just watching it. Means, means a lot to me. Because uh, it's really fun to make videos. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna end this episode and this series. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.